Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam Eddie Running. I'm back with you again. This is from Boss and the Boss and Staff. Um, and this is from the Corn Chronicles. Um, on their paper, it says Jason Whitlock clowned for Kobe takes. Um, it says Jason Whitlock is one of the most inseparable black men on TV. Scratch that. He is one of the he is one of the most inseparable black men in America. He spent most of his career tap dancing for any white man on TV. He always likes uh, likes to talk uh, likes targeting black people. Anyone from Serena Williams to Colin Kaepernick. Uh, one of his biggest targets is Kobe Bryant, who he has held a grudge against since forever. <laughs> Basically, uh, maybe partly because he got embarrassed like this. Um, this is Kobe Bryant, you know, giving his take and his piece on, uh, Jason Whitlock. And, um, apparently he felt some type of way about that. If Kobe, you guys, not to if you guys twist want to go check that out, what she said, but uh, being around young players. Okay. It was actually playing my bad, you guys. Um, but, um. Let me see if it's going to play. Um, okay. It's playing, but then it's not playing. So, um, I'm going to give that a moment. Anyway, the article goes on to say he also wrote this article once using all sorts of defamatory language to talk about Vanessa and Kobe himself. All of these, all of these trash takes are resurfacing, and everyone is piling on with the Whitlock slander. He deserves it all, and as you can see, there is a lot, a lot of people um, on Twitter that's just basically going in on Jason Whitlock. Um, this one says, uh, "Keep uh, your name, keep your mouth shut." Uh, Kobe, this is by Jason Whitlock, special uh, to page two. It says, Dear Kobe, hey buddy, how you doing? My name is Jason Whitlock. I'm a 37-year-old sports fan and sports writer. Uh, we've never formally met, and to be quite honest, I've never really liked you. Um, I am a Shaq guy. The big diesel just always seemed more real than you. I didn't like you the way you uh, treated Shaq. Yes, he could be a bit lazy and he shouldn't uh, report to camp in better shape, but Shaq is a good guy and had you shown him some proper respect, he would have given you the respect you wanted. Okay? And this is from, like, this is from him um, on ESPN. And um, these are just some more tweets and stuff, which I'm not going to go through all of them. If you want to, you can check that out yourself. And um, basically, so um, my take on this is Jason Whitlock, he's always been there to shuck and job for, you know, the powers that be, the masses, the ones that sign his checks, the ones that, you know, give him his livelihood. So it's no surprise there. Um, allegedly, to my knowledge, uh, Jason Woodlock's show, he has been taken off and he has been fired due to the outcry and also threats that have been coming in about, um, I guess, his safety. So um, he's no longer uh, working for them. Uh, to my knowledge, allegedly. So, at the end of the day, you know, it's just sad that people come out here and, you know, you know, talk trash after a person is gone. But with that being said, you guys, please drop down in the comments. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until then, I will talk to you guys later. I not what she said, but being around young players energized you. That's not a statement about maybe you'd like to see some young players on your team? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
You know what? That's a Bikram yoga stretch. <laughs> you stretched the hell out of it. Good job. Good job. I'm not even going to answer that. That's just silly. Next. 